finished reducing the padding in this section so that this image just touches directly uh, the section above it. Okay, we did that by making sure our section was selected, uh, going to box styles and reducing the padding to zero. Okay, so next for our text, I wanna select now the row, not the section, okay? So that'll actually be touching the edges of the section right now, it'll be the same size, but we wanna control just the two um, columns that were inside the row. So make sure my row is selected. I'm gonna to go to general and I'm going to go to content position and I'll go to center middle, okay? I'm gonna make sure that our text stays nice and centered. Now we can go ahead and steal the text from that page. There we are, heading two, copy the paragraph. we go, Lato font, again, Lato, we want this to be white font, okay, both of those, white, white, we want uh, double line spacing there, and now we're going to go use our Colorzilla dropper, okay, pick up that color, select this column okay we want the column not the row yeah you know what let's try the row styling background color okay very nice okay that worked out fine so my mistake we did want the entire row so basically this uh this same background color extends underneath this image you just don't see it okay now we want to select only the column on the left so now there's nothing selected on the right, and we're going to play with the padding to make sure that that's a little bit uh, aligned more similarly to the one on Harry's page. Okay, let me take a look. Okay, it's flat on that side. Okay, 15 on that side looks okay. Let's try 20%. Yeah, that looks okay. Okay. And there we are. Uh, when we were putting the layout elements in, I duplicated um, this section. Uh, it's easier now that we've put all of the content inside actually. So I'll show you that. I'm gonna select the section below that we have only the element layouts in. The layout element, sorry. I'm gonna delete it. Then I'm gonna select the section above and I'm going to duplicate it, okay? So exact same thing we did when we only had the layout elements inside, but now that we have content, it's going to be nice and easy for us to just uh, copy and paste and put our new image in there. Okay. So the way that we switch it, I'm going to select, make sure row is selected here. Okay. General in the element inspector here. And I'm going, oh, I'm sorry, styling. And this is quite important. So if you want to pay attention here, we want to go to display, flex, and then the top drop down menu here, direction, row reverse. Okay, boom. We choose that. It's literally just apply the exact same formatting, just reversed it for us. So super quick way to do something like, like Harry's has done on their page, where they just uh, basically have a mirror image section below. Uh, I noticed the background image is slightly darker here and the text is different, so we can just quickly take care of that. Can choose the row, styling, background, change the color there. Let's copy our text. Jeff and Andy. And the last thing is the image. So I'm just gonna select the image on the left. In general, select the new image. As you can see, that's a lot easier than having to rebuild the entire section from scratch. Uh, I'll just review quickly because it is such a great trick. We, uh, we clicked on the section, 
Okay, we duplicated it from the element toolbar. Once we had our duplicated section, we selected the row. Then we went to styling tab on the right in the element inspector. We went down to display, flex, direction, and row reverse. Okay. As you can see, we had the row selected. We select row reverse. You can, you can suspect why it did what it did. Okay. Now the last section, super easy. Let's take a look. Uh, I think it's a slightly off white. So the first thing we can just grab the color. Yeah. Slight off white, select the section, background color pasted. Very good. Now our text, uh, let's copy that space after everything that text I'm gonna make that heading one center it it is Lato put our space in there okay there's a little bit more line spacing so we can adjust that here we go try this for yourself now the last thing is the button so get started and it's orange. First, let's grab the color. Okay, here we go. Uh, select the block, not the button itself. And then we can align it really easily. If that's the button itself, when we try to align it, sometimes it can mess with the, with the heading and everything else. So now let's, once we've aligned it in the block, select the button, uh, get started. Okay. Put in your text, change your font, maybe the size too. I think it's a little bit bigger. Is that too big? Uh, it looks actually about the same size as the stuff below, but let's try. Yeah, that looks okay. Lato font, let's put our color in. Background, orange color. There is some padding, looks like on the, on all sides actually. So we'll go down to our box styles. Now let's try, that's way too much. Let's try 3%, maybe 5%. Yeah, that looks okay. A reminder that we're using percentages so it's uh, automatically responsive from mobile to, uh, to um, desktop displays. If you use actual pixel numbers, it will apply those to both as you can Imagine that those are hugely different sizes of screen, so um, it will cause problems. Okay, and finally, to get the rounding edges that they have going on here, we just need to, I might make that text bold. Yeah, that's okay. To get the rounded edges, we want to go to border, and I'll, maybe I'll just put a five pixel radius, and there we have it. Okay, a little bit of padding in this section too, so I'll select the section, Let's go 5% is even too much. Let me have a look. Yeah, I think 4%, 3 or 4% would be fine. Okay, apply that to both. And then we have it. Let's take a look what we have. I might want to add some spacing to this first heading. So let's go 1.5. Okay, that makes it, yeah, it makes it look a little bit cleaner like theirs. Okay, I'm going to save and publish. This will actually make the page live. Okay, then I'm going to click view live page. And I can see exactly. Oh, of course, I haven't disabled the password. That's okay. I can, I can use the preview instead for now. Okay. Okay, I didn't disable the the password in my store. Let me see here. Uh, hide header and footer there. Let me see. Okay, so I'll go to my Shopify admin, go to settings. I believe it's in general, and we'll see what my store password is. I guess this is a good thing to know when you're starting your first store. 
uh, store details, standards, let's see. Sales channels, I think it's in here. Online store, no, I'm incorrect. Account billing. Bear with me here. I definitely want to show you guys a preview of the store. I should have uh, known better than to, to not have checked my uh, password settings first. So let's see. It, I didn't see it in general. Let's have a look. Okay. Let me see if it uh, gives me access. Enter using my password. Okay, so I'll log in. That just brought me back to my dashboard. Okay, guys, I'm going to pause the recording, and then I'll make a quick video to follow up, just so we can preview this, okay? Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in a short video next. Okay, thanks.